everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make the items in the latest Disney themed Sophie and Toffee Polly Pop box. So this Polly Pop box is Toy Story themed and it comes with all the pieces that you need to build your own acrylic pins of the characters from Toy Story. The box also comes with a set of instructions that has all the pieces numbered so that you know how to construct everything together. First up, I'm going to be making Woody because I feel like he's such a classic and iconic Toy Story character. So you can see all the larger pieces here are just separate and then there's also a small bag with all the tiny little acrylic pieces in it. The Polly Pop box comes with the glue that you need and it does also come with a little pair of plastic tweezers, although I find them to be quite bendy and hard to hold anything. So I usually just revert back to using my metal tweezers which are from Sophie and Toffee anyway. As you can see, it's super simple to put everything together and assemble the characters. You really just need to start off with the larger pieces and then layer everything. And as long as you follow the instructions, you'll pretty much be right. So I finished up with Woody and I put him to the side to let the glue dry. And then here I'm working on Jessie. Jessie used to be one of my favorite Toy Story characters along with Bullseye as well, because all these Pixar movies kind of came out when I was younger. So I would watch them on repeat all the time. I guess going back to the Polly Pop brand. So Polly Pop is created by Sophie and Toffee where they make these simple kits for beginners or just anyone really uh, because it comes with everything that you need. I've done a few of these videos and kits now and I really like that they give me a break from resin because as much as I do like doing the resin boxes from the elves box and the Disney boxes and all of those, um, it's really nice to work on something that is easy and also quick to film. I also noticed with this kit in particular that none of the acrylic pieces had any backings that I had to remove. Usually all the pieces have like a brown paper backing or a clear plastic backing and you have to remove them all before you can get started but I did really enjoy making all of the pieces from this particular box because I didn't have to do that beforehand. This Toy Story kit also does require you to do some painting which I haven't had to do with the other kits before. So you saw when I was making buzz that I had to paint on his little buttons onto his spacesuit because the kit doesn't come with those pieces. So for my painting I just used regular acrylic paint and I applied it using a dotting tool so that I could easily get into the indents rather than using a paintbrush which can be a little bit messy. For the last character, I'm working on Forky and I actually was having a little bit of trouble getting his eye in. I did really have to force it in there, uh, but I did get it eventually. And just like when I was making Buzz, I did also have to apply some paint to Forky's mouth to make it blue. And all of this was included in the instructions as well. So it does tell you when you need to apply paint. I didn't really worry too much about the neatness of this paint though, because once it was dry, I just scraped off all the excess uh, that wasn't where it it was meant to be and I used a blade to do that. So here are what the finished characters look like and there are five all together. We have Woody, Jesse, Buzz, one of the aliens and of course Forky. Once I had finished making them and the glue was dry and everything I also added on the little gold backing pins which came in the box and this is what they look like when they're pinned onto a backpack. So if you would like to know more about these Polypop craft subscription boxes, I'll leave some information down in the description box below for you. Please don't forget to also give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.